want to thank uh, Premier Notley for receiving me here at Government House. We had a uh, friendly conversation about uh, what we uh, both hope will be a smooth transition, uh, respecting the democratic will of Albertans as expressed uh, in this historic election. Uh, once again, I'm uh, very honoured uh, that the United Conservative Party received uh, uh, the support of 55% of voters this Tuesday, uh, the highest share of popular vote cast uh, since uh, 2001 for a party, at, with the highest turnout since, I gather, 1971. Uh, I'd, I'd like to thank uh, Albertans for showing uh, their commitment to our democracy by voting in such large numbers. It's not long ago we used to see uh, turnout in the range of 40 to 45 percent in this province. So what we saw uh, on Tuesday was a very engaged electorate. And uh, we're hopeful that by the time all the advanced ballots are counted, we'll be um, at or close to a million votes for the United Conservative Party, which would be uh, the largest number uh, ever cast for a party in Alberta electoral history. It has been an enormous privilege for me to serve as Premier, and I look forward to taking over my duties as leader of the official opposition. Albertans have elected a very strong and capable opposition, made up of people with lots of experience both in the community as well as in the legislature. And I can assure Albertans that we are already getting down to work because effective and principled opposition is critical to our democracy and critical to the health of this province. And so we will hold the new government uh, to account on pipelines, on jobs, on the economy, and on its promises that it would protect public services. For example, on pipelines, an issue that is very important to me and to all Albertans, the Premier-elect promised quick action. And I, I have maintained, as you know, that my approach uh, all along uh, was moving us in the right direction, that we were closer than ever. Uh, the Premier-elect is going to take a different approach, one he says that will get results. Uh, now, of course, I wish him the best on the pipeline because that's what we need to have happen uh, for all Albertans. Alberta needs the pipeline. And we need to give the new Premier and his government time uh, to put their plan into action. But I must say that I will be watching very closely because it's very important to me and to all Albertans that we maintain support among Canadians for the pipeline and that we do not allow that to go backwards.